Okay, so I've been away for a while uh, doing my thumbnails and uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's been fun. It's just as how I remember creating Little Wolf in that it's like a, a movie unfolding before my eyes because it's actually me fleshing out the imagery of the story that I wrote. And when I reached halfway through the story, the book, I started to realize that there are certain things in the story that I wrote that actually needs to be changed a little bit to fit the environment. Like, because in order for these characters and this the story to be convincing, like when you read a story, even though it's completely fictional, it's talking bears and <laughs> herons, in order for your reader or as a reader myself to s suspend reality it, ha it has to appear believable that these characters are actually living in this world that they're in so it, it has to feel not just relatable but feels that they belong together the, the environment and the characters so I started modifying the story little by little because when I wrote the story in my head, of course I was visually imagining the characters myself in my head. But as I'm actually fleshing it out, pencil on paper, you know, what I would imagine that this conversation would take place in this part of the, the boat. As I illustrated the panels, like panel by panel, I realized ah, that conversation is better suited if it was in this part of the boat not that and also certain angles you know i would when i was writing in, i would imagine certain shots on how this story would be illustrated but as i put pencil on paper i realized eh, it's more visually interesting this way so i'll change it to that i've estimated that this book will be just as big as little wolf Meaning it would have very similar number of pages. But this time, I knew it's going to be a little bit more interesting, challenging to illustrate because there's a lot more characters in it and a lot more change of scenery. So I started the thumbnails here, close to the, like on the second page of the sketchbook. And so far I've done this much now thumbnails so I just started the first um, spread of the penultimate chapter and I think I have about about this much to go to finish it so from here it's not that long I don't know how other artists do it themselves <laughs> I wonder about that, actually. I, it would be interesting to know how other creators go about doing their thumbnails. Now, my thumbnails are, are thumbnails because of their size, but I tend to put a lot of, as much detail as I can in them. <laughs> because, I don't know, I can't help it. And also, I want to pack in as much inf visual information in the thumbnails that I can so that when I start to finalize the art on the actual paper where I'll be painting, I I'd like to have an actual very accurate blueprint to what the panel will look like in a sense that my goal is to just copy it because <laughs> it, be, it will make things a lot easier for me if I just like copy things. Because I've already done the preliminary drawing, so just copying my own drawings is <laughs> a lot easier. It's just it makes that stage of finalization fun, like playtime. Because all you have to do is copy it in the cleaner manner, in the bigger size, and also, of course. Since I put a lot of visual information in it and even tonal values, then it would be easier for me to translate it into a painting so that I would actually know 
which areas would be painted darker over you know other areas so I would actually see the contrast really an illustration is interesting because of the, con the tones in it not you know color is secondary for me of course color also a nice interesting color palette is nice but if you don't have the tonal values right it won't grab your attention as much because you have to see contrast in the same way a story itself a written story has to have conflict you know has to have that contrast in them to be interesting same way visually illustrations need to have the, the tonal values distinguishable enough so that you can see the contrast between different elements visual elements so I try to, to show that through the thumbnails as much as possible although there are some panels where it's just gonna be mostly line art because it would be too distracting on the pencils if I if I fully render it so yeah depends on the actual panel if there's if there's a lot of movement in it action happening I tend to not really put too much tonal values in it but if it's mostly landscape or scenery that's when i add the tonal values in the in the thumbnails yes yeah, so that it will inform me ahead of time for when i start doing the painting 